Hey everyone, in today's App of the Day video, I want to show you this messaging platform called Discord. It's really big among gamers and in the world of YouTube, among YouTube creators, but anybody could use it as a messaging platform. I want to show you exactly how to use it on the mobile device and how to get around the app. And what's great about it is not only can you do text-based messages, you could also do audio voice messages, and you could also do video chat and screen shares too. And it's very popular on the desktop and on the browser at discord.com. And I have a separate video dedicated to show you exactly how to use it there. This is all about the mobile app. So I'll put a link in the description to the other video if you're gonna use it on the desktop. But for the mobile app, they all sync. So if you do it on the mobile, everything that happens on that account is gonna show up on the desktop and at discord.com on the browser. So let's jump into the phone so I could show you the Discord mobile app. The Discord app is available for iOS and Android and I already created my account on the desktop version. So I'll show you here on the app exactly what it looks like. And then we'll go ahead and create our own server too. So I'll jump in. And this is basically the homepage of the app. You have a little menu on the bottom. So I'm on the very corner option right here. And if you're on this page, if you're on a chat page, you just go ahead and slide over to the left. So let me break down the organization of this. It's very, very simple if you understand how it's organized. You see the icons on the left side. You most likely don't have anything. So I'll show you how to put those there but those are basically servers. so the pink one on top is my own server i'll show you how to create your own and then there's the minecraft and fortnite servers that are public that i'm following now servers they could be an entire game for example or really anybody's digital world a companies or a person that's the top level organization and it's called a server so those are those icons so first let's go ahead and add a server or join one so if you press the plus sign here you could create your own server or join a server. If you press join a server, you need to know the invite link. So someone else should have invited you to the server that you want to join. And then you could create your own server. So let's go ahead and do that first. You basically will name your server here. So I'll name this one app of the day. You could upload your own profile picture by just pressing plus right there. And then you could go ahead and press create server. And then you will get a link to share, which expires in one day. So if you don't want it to expire, click the settings icon and change it to never or pick a different time. You could also set the maximum amount of uses, meaning how many people do you want to invite to the server? You could do any number of these or you could leave it on infinity, which is there is no limit. And I'm going to go ahead and close and I'll click away here. Now, let me slide back again to the left side here. So that's basically just the two main pages that we're going to worry about here. The home page again here. Now you could see the app of the day has that little icon on the top. I didn't put a profile picture, so it just created that for me. And then the Hoffinity one is the one I created on the desktop. That's another server. So you got multiple servers this way. And that little white icon shows you which one you're on. Now on the desktop on discord.com, if you use the browser or the PC or Mac version, there's also a search icon here that you could look up public servers here and follow them that way. And that's how I have those two little ones appearing here. I did it on the desktop. Or you could press plus and type in join a server and you could go ahead and type in the server code if you already know that link, which again, you could find on discord.com if you log in that way. Now let's look inside of a server. Inside of each server, you could organize things by channels. So the thing with the hashtag and the little microphone and the little speaker icon, those are channels. So I have two different general channels. There are the two type of channels you could create, the text one, the one with the hashtag in front of it, and the speaker one is the voice one. So if I click that, it's going to say voice channels are where people could talk together. So I'll say join voice, give it access to my microphone. I'll go ahead and invite my other person here. And if you click that person, again, you could mute someone, you could disconnect. You have all these options inside of each person under the voice chat. But let's go ahead and create one. We'll create a text channel. I'll press the plus sign here. Again, you could pick the channel type. In this case, I want a text channel. I'll press create. And as you can see, there's a second channel now called text channel. If I click it, it takes me there. To come back, I just have to slide back again to the left. Same thing for creating voice. You could just press the voice icon and this time choose voice and create a channel that way. And you could always hold on any one channel and you could go ahead and edit the channel here or clone the channel. The invite option is right on top. Let's do that next. If you want to now invite people to a specific channel, you just hold on that channel 
and then you could go ahead and press invite and you get this invite link again which expires in a day and you could go ahead and share it or change the setting of this link to invite people to the server and all your server options right with the name of the server there's those three dots if you press those you could basically do all these things here, including inviting people, creating channels here, creating categories and so on. So creating categories basically creates a folder for you to organize your thoughts. So if this was the rules category, I could create that and you could see it made another folder here under the voice channels and I could press the plus sign to create a channel within that folder. So that's basically the overall organization. You have server on the far left, which is your top level. The folders or categories, which are these inside of there. And then inside of those folders, you could put channels here. And inside of those channels are where people are gonna have the conversation. Now let's slide over to the how-to channel that I created. And here is where the messaging could take place. So I could just type in the message, welcome, press the send icon. And now it's over here and there's the welcome message. So anybody that I invite here, could jump in and have a conversation with me. You could also upload images here with the left icon. You have emojis and you could also use the at sign here to basically have a communication with someone else. So if you want it to be for everybody or if you wanted to just talk to a specific person, you could just put the at sign and then type your message and then it would basically tag them that you were trying to communicate with them specifically. But it is channel wide so people could see it there. And then you also have one more slide. If you slide one more time, you basically get to this members area where you could see everybody that's online and their role right on top of their name. You could also mute them here and you have all the options inside of individual members in this channel. So it's really three main pages here. This was the home page. This was the messaging page inside of each channel. And then this is where all the members are inside of that channel. Let me jump into one of these public ones here. I'll jump into the World of Warcraft one. And you could see when you have a lot of different channels and a lot of different categories, things are organized a little bit differently. So if I jump into one of these, for example, this general one, you could see there's a lot of messages taking place here. And even on the desktop before joining, you could jump in and basically explore these messages and learn a little bit more. And if you slide one more time, you could see all the different members and they all have different colors and different permissions. I'll briefly show you the permission setting here on the Discord icon on the very bottom on the homepage basically here. If you press the three dots on the server that you're on, the one you control, if you press it and you go to the settings option here, and if you scroll down here, there's that user management section and here you could click roles and you could basically create new roles here by pressing add role. When you add a role, let's say you wanted to make someone an admin of this server, you could just type in the role's name. You could click color and choose a color so they show up differently on the list of people on that server. And then if you want to display the member's role separately from online members to kind of break up the section here, you could go ahead and check this on. And then if you want to edit the general permissions they have, you could go to this general permissions tab and go through it. Again, a lot to explore here and a little more advanced than a beginner's guide, but you could definitely explore this page for an admin. And once you have this selected, you could go back to your home and now that you've created that role, if you go all the way to the right here and select someone on your members area, you could basically go ahead and manage them and edit their role. You see that option, edit a role, and you could assign a new role like the admin role to them and then go ahead and press save. So that's how you would change a role and a permission setting for individual users on your individual channels. And on the very bottom menu, which we haven't looked at, you also have this little person icon. This is where you could add your friends here. So again, if you add friends, they will all appear here under this page. You have the search icon where you could search among your channel that you're following and your own servers here. So that's the search option, very useful. And the at mention is if somebody again uses the at sign when they're communicating with you, they'll show up over here and then you have your profile icon on the far right. Here, you could set your status. So by default, you're online, but if you wanna be idle or do not disturb, you could change that setting over here on this page. But generally, you wanna jump in here, you wanna create your own server or join one, so you could have multiple different servers to choose from on the left side. Once you're inside of a server, you could jump into really any conversation here and read about it, and the ones where you can have conversations in, you could go ahead and have text or chat conversation inside of those. And if there is any voice chat conversations, you could jump inside of those and have a voice conversation this way as well.
And as far as I could tell, the video sharing option is only available on the desktop. So when you jump into a voice channel, typically you could mute on the very bottom. There's the mute option. There's a deafen option. That means you won't hear anything. And there's a speaker option where you could turn on and off to make sure you hear something and you could go ahead and disconnect. But there's no video option at the time I'm recording this inside of the mobile version. But it is available on discord.com and on the PCM Mac app. I'm gonna give this app a solid five out of five. It was so easy to use. It was so easy to get around. I also love the desktop version and they all sync so seamlessly. It's a very solid app for communication. So if you're looking for creating your own digital world here for people to be able to organize into channels and everything I showed you, you might want to give this a try. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.